Welcome to part two of Black and Boss. Um, because it's a combine, it will be a, in parts. And I say it's going to be part two of this because it will be done in two parts. Um, like I say, like I said in the last video, that's his axe. Not much to it. It forms the handle to the saw is Magnum Boss's main weapon. Oh. He, they did in Japan do a um, Beast Wars movie. And It really centers around Light Hill Juniors. Um, I want to call it stupidity is adolescence and people and people trying to protect him because he's not actually proper Cybertronian. He was actually formed from. He is a Cybertronian, but he weren't a protoform Cybertronian. He was actually made by the Matrix. And basically, in the movie, he gets tricked by the Destrons and he gets to bring this massive weapon called something Zarak. Which is a big used battleship that turns into a Tyrannosaurus Rex kind of thing with arms. But they bring but he also realise he can if he can bring someone from an ultimate weapon through he can bring someone from the past which would be um as they were called Convoy, or we were called Optimus Primal. <laughs> I have to say, the film is actually very good. I did actually like it a lot. It has no basis to the story at all, to the TV show. It's like... Let's just have a break and do another story just for a movie, okay? Oh, it was really good actually, I really did enjoy it. Okay, now, enough of that. To the transformation of Magnavos. First things first, what you do is take silver bolt. You take his swords out. And you do a half transformation. What you do is open his wings fully. Like that. Lift the back up like that and push his arms back through. This is why I say be gentle because you could actually end up breaking this one. Good thing I've got another one spare. I've got tons of parts for him. And you twist his legs back round to the bird form and you just open his legs like that. And there you go. That's um air raid. That's all you have to do with him. Then you get Saturn. You take these two bits, click them together, get the air raid weapons and click them together. There's the base of the sword. What you do? Turning them upside down like that. Push 
the full Magnus Boss bit, feet up, hands, you push these bits, which is Saturn's hands up, you lift the tusks up, you push these down, and you twist the legs like that. Then all you have to do is push is back bits here down like that and open these arms like that. And there we go. Like that. All you have to do. Then lastly, yeah, the axe, fold these bits in, push the tail down, and clip that in right so there's this sword. What you do is unclip that, push his lion head up, again push his robot head down, push these in like that, turn the lion head to the back, bring Magnum Boss's head up, you bring his line, fold his lion legs up like that, like that, push them in and then just click, sorry about this, like that. There you go. Found out what I was doing wrong. You push the head back forward and you push it back back up. Put these two horns in like that. Turn his legs um, around then do that. And push his legs that. They just should slide into place like that. That's how you do it. What you need to do now is just connect it all together. You get the eagle to like that. Push his head the eagle eye down and you have to connect it in. There's little circles and little dentations, little clips on. Um, and what you do, what I do usually is find one, match it up, clip it in, find the other, because it's clip that in, and you just clip it in. Fold the legs up, there, there you go, push the eagle down, like that. Lastly, push Saturn's horns or tusks up, sit it in, clip these two in, to like that, there's little pegs that you should Clip it in like that. Like 
Well, if you do it right, it doesn't always do the first time. Sometimes you need to force the legs up a bit more. There, see if that works. Sorry, I'm making a mess of this side. There you go. Just clip it in like that. Like it was showing you before. If it weren't doing it then. Close up his chest. Then just slot the chest into the plates. Like so. Then lastly, just call it like that, just fold the tusks around the shape like that. And there you go. Then you get your sword and push it. Magnum Boss doesn't have his own personality, he has basically the personality of Lyle Jr. But he does undergo training from Triple Pro, Triple Combinacus, the other much small combiner, to basically get his own personality, which I would think so on what I like to believe. So this is Ratchet 25 saying goodbye at the moment. And if I come up with another video, I will give you another video. I haven't done any Transformers Prime ones because they're not showing Operation Breakdown still. So I'm going to try and find that on the computer, do that, and as soon as it comes up, um, I'll do a review for you. Plus, I would like to um, give a shout out to. Um, Two, two friends that I am talking to met loads uh, well just started talking to one and one of them just started to get a, like a stable friendship with that's um, Nolsey, TF Nosey and shout out to you watch his videos he's great um, and Helen the Miller I'd uh, like to thank you for your friendship and I've been a subscriber for you since I started in February and I think your videos are really good and really I really enjoy watching your videos because <laughs> they do I have had thoughts about getting the Bumblebee Revenge of the Fall, no not Revenge of the Fall, I've got that one, um, Dark on the Moon one and I've just asked her a question because she got that uh, Dark on the Moon one if it was good and she said it's really good. So um, I'm going to buy you two drinks at um, Auto Assembly and I'll be back soon, see ya.